I can get out of this. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We are playing on ultra hard difficulty and what we're going to do today, we're actually going to do this quest. Let me just have a peek at it. I think, yeah, this one here, waterlogged. So we're going to do this. I may as well read it since we're here. Okay, waterlogged, side quest. Aloy investigates the source of a sudden deluge spilling into the valley. Go to the lake and that'll be 7500 XP and we're going to get three blue gleam. So that's always a good thing. And funnily enough, on that subject, that's why I'm here. We're actually going to get some blue gleam from here because I'm very, very close to getting uh, the bow I want. Guys, I'm still undecided though. I don't know if I should get the power shot bow you know, that fires precision arrows and tear blast, or should I get the, you know, like the hunter bow, power shot? I, I'm so confused. I can only get one at this stage. And just another quick update. I managed to buy this, uh, Banuk Werak Runner. So um, it gives you some health regen. I'm not sure how this works exactly, guys, but I have a feeling, say I'm low on health, I can switch into this and regain my health <laughs> i hope that's how that works so we're going to give that a try anyway also one final thing we're going to change weapons i need to give this a go i haven't tried it yet so we're going to try this now i may absolutely suck with this but i've got to i've got to try it okay so it uses up uh five echo shells no uh not echo sh no it is echo shells or is that sparker I, I can't tell. Whatever, guys. All right. <laughs> okay, let's give this a try then. So how does this work? Guys, this is a Rune Bear exclusive. I've never used this before. Over. Oh my god, it's why is it not working? What the heck? Oh my bad, guys. You've got to hold down R2. Okay, I've actually got to hold this button now. Um, guys, that's not a lot of damage. Guys, that is not a lot of damage. I, I'm not sure if I should <laughs> even use this. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm not convinced, guys, but, but hey, I'll give it a chance. Maybe I should put... I don't know, more shock? Is that what, is that, what that is? Or should I put, put a damage mod? All right, don't want to give up. Let's try again. Shit. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Can you stop doing your max pain <laughs> leap to the side? Oh, guys, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not sure if I like it. Okay, well, that kind of worked. Oh, crap. <laughs> Crap. Okay, here we go. Try again. Okay. Uh, yeah, it takes a while. I... Guys, I haven't even shocked any of them yet. Ouch. <laughs> Guys, you know what? That does a lot more damage. <laughs> Um, guys, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I'm not convinced. I mean, it sounded nice. It sounded great and all, but... Um... <laughs> this, this thing was just not doing what I hoped it would do. I thought it was going to obliterate these watches. Oh, I don't know, guys. Um, by the way, I do record most of my videos in batches. So if you comment um, saying that the weapon is good or bad, I won't know until a few episodes later. <laughs> so, all right. So anyway, let me just loot up and let's go and get this blue gleam. And then we're going to get on with the waterlog quest. Uh, yeah, a little bit disappointed. Not going to lie, guys. I was very excited. Oh, uh, let's try this uh, outfit at least. At least this. Okay. So it's working, guys. Look, check out top left-hand corner. <laughs> regaining my health very slowly but that doesn't matter that's not the point it's it is actually health regenerating me that's awesome all right so 
next mission is to get these. I will teleport back to camp and I'll make my decision as to what weapon to get. I I'm leaning towards the precision um, arrow thing. How do I get up there? What the heck? Sorry, guys. <laughs> One sec. Uh, by the way, guys, if you do enjoy this video, enjoy my content, please leave the video a like. The algorithm is so brutal. Whoa, what's that? I heard something. All right, Lance Horn. Okay, Sawtooth, but he's not demonic. Okay, I don't want any trouble. I just want to get the blue gleam and get out of here because <laughs> we've got um, a couple of things to do. I've got to make a purchase. All right, guys, guys, check it out. Check it out. Okay, one blue gleam. All right, where's the other one? Okay, I need to be careful. Okay, my plan B is... Can be if I do get spotted by the saw too. No, no, we're good. Check it out. We're good. Okay, okay. Oh crap! Oh crap! Okay, okay. Okay, let's just override him anyway. Alright. Now, is there anything else here? Not really. Okay, I'll let the Sawtooth do his thing. <laughs> hey, dude. Oh, crap. Salon's all right here, guys. Okay, I'm out of here. All right, guys. I'm going to see you back at uh, camp. So I'll see you there in a sec. Hey, guys. We are back. Okay, let's find that blue merchant, dude. And he's right over here. Now, obviously, I'm playing the game in ultra hard. But when I make purchases... We're going to put it on story because <laughs> I'm not pay, uh, paying for new game plus prices. It's way too expensive. All right. Anyway, let's speak to this dude. And what do I want? I do want the champion bow if it is good. If this works out the way I think it's going to work, it should be a good investment to get. Well, all three, obviously. But what do I want first, though? I mean, I do use my my hunter bow more often i guess but then again can you imagine the amount of damage we'll be doing with this so as you can see in the right hand um, side I, i've got about 18 uh blue gleams so this will cost 14 this is 16 i'm only gonna have two left oh guys i'm so so confused okay you know what i'm gonna make a decision let's just get this it's done it's done <laughs> get over it room bear it's done okay here's what i'm gonna do though um let me just um, put some mods in here. I'm going to make this high damage. And we're going to test it out. I've never used it. I don't know what it's going to be like. And I hope it's not a big disappointment like <laughs> the Storm Slinger. I'll be back with you shortly. Hey, guys. We are back. Okay. Um, just took a few minutes and I moved things around a bit. My previous um, Karja Sharp Shot bow, I put tear in there. So that's going to be if I want to tear components, etc. But this one is the brand new bow, and I'm very excited to try it out, and I hope it, it's what I think it is. Okay, so it looks like I have to hold this down. I'm glad my father isn't around. Don't worry, we're going to do your quest, lady. La Lao Lei. So we're going to help her out. Okay, so we've got tests on an enemy, but... We gotta hold this down a bit. Whoa, that's a long time for it to draw. I swear it wasn't as long as that before. On the other bow, that is. No, not that. Okay, my handling's 55. Oh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> Look, um, I hope I don't regret this, but hey, it, it's done now. I do wanna you know, take too long just deciding what to do. All right, so we're now gonna go and do waterlog, so. We've got to go up here. Uh, I guess it'll be... Yeah, I guess we can just travel up here, guys. Okay, I'll see you there in a second. Hey, guys, we are back. Okay, check it out. So we've got to go to the lake. Um, I think I've already read this uh, quest out to you guys. And what the heck is that? 
A demonic snap more, guys. This must be the ruin Lala was talking about. Kicked in. Flooded too, like she said. Oh gosh. Snap moss. Probably came from somewhere up river. Follow the river, find its source. Followed followed the uh, the river okay um i'd like to try this out though oh crap there's one here shit okay guys look i need to test this out i have to so um what do i usually i i haven't fought a snap more in such a long time guys i don't even remember how to fight them <laughs> i'm so scared all right listen let's just get started okay let's put some proximity Okay, now what I want to do is, let's triple up an arrow. I want to get that frost sack. Let's just wait. Okay, here we go. Oh! Guys, this is powerful, man. Let's double up, uh, triple up an arrow while he's frozen. Oh, okay, that wasn't a power shot. God damn it. I need to hold it down. Oh my God, guys, that is power unlimited power <laughs> all right listen um i like this bow it's pretty it's pretty sick okay let me put some proximity oh damn that's water there there's one trying to flank me there's one trying to flank, uh, flank me so i'm a little bit panicked guys as well so <laughs> forgive me and it's early morning as well i'm recording this very early in the morning hey hey no no come back gotcha <laughs> <laughs> Try to run away, eh? Okay. Oh my guys, that is insane damage. I love this bow. I'm happy I've got it. Oh my lord. Okay. Nothing to worry about anymore. Come on, come on. <laughs> Not going anywhere. Why did I only do 788? Come on, come on. <laughs> this does take a long time to draw. I don't know if that's should i put more handling in this guys maybe less damage i'm not really sure what to do um okay let me get his ice sack thing oh guys this look it is on ultra hard sorry i just had to second guess myself i thought maybe i had it on um <laughs> story mode still this is a shocking amount of damage. No, 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 no. No, don't move. Ah, oh, block me. God damn it. Okay. All right, try again. Try again. We, we'll be all right. We'll be fine. Crap, I panicked. <laughs> all right, one second. Don't you dare. Oh, why? Why? He's being so difficult. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. Guys, I don't know. Maybe I should take one damage mod out and put one more handling in this. Oh my god. Uh, guys, that is insane damage. I'm so happy we got this. All right. So the plan is I'll still use this as my, you know, regular uh, bow for all purposes. However, if I need to get a big hit, then I'll use a precision because it does cost a lot of wire at the end of the day. So... No, that's pretty good. I'm I'm satisfied. <laughs> I, I'm happy with my purchase and I don't want a refund. Now, sorry, what did Aloy say? We have to follow the river. And guys, have I been on that bridge before? I, I'll skip ahead. Don't worry. Hey, guys. Okay, yeah, we have been here before, I think. I just want to double check this building. I'm pretty certain I did get a data point from here. I'm sure I did. Uh, by the way, this is the right way we're going. Um, the map's actually telling me to go up, upstream or whatever, so... Was it here? Oh, that's right. There was a data point on this car. Don't ask me which episode, guys. I can't remember. That was a good few days <laughs> for me, so I can't remember. Okay, so upstream. So we just need to keep going this way. I'm guessing. Let's go on the other side. Oh, Aloy, get out. I hate when she gets stuck in the water, guys. That's so irritating. <laughs> okay. 
All right, I'm on, on the lookout in case the, there's any more snap balls. Okay, but so far... Okay, no, we should seem to be good. Okay, that's fine. So what's this? Hmm. I wonder what this used to be. All right, what's this? What is this place? Or rather, what was this place before? What's that? Oh, animal figurine. Nice. Okay. All right, let's have a look. Okay, it's this one. So that's our third one now. Hey, it's a puma or a cougar, I think. Okay, depicts a lithe predatory um, animal inscribed two of seven in a commemorative set 2042 Montana Recreations trade at Hollow Hall for valuable rewards we need to find this place I don't know where where that is uh, by the way skills what do I want knockdown how would this work heavy spear attacks well I know guys you know me if you've been following my playthrough I hardly ever use a spear I do use it but hardly ever so what's after that fighting back heavy spear attacks deal increased damage when aloy's health is low you know what screw it let's just get it I, guys i was gonna get these the mount repair stuff but do i care i'm interested in this dismount strike this looks badass but we'll see we'll see anyway okay is there any data points anything to read or anything don't think so okay nothing's coming up on the minimap that's fine all right there's another building over there what's in here anything here it's a little bit spooky in here i'm not gonna lie <laughs> okay all right we got a campfire that's good i'm gonna have a look at what that building is there we'll check that out in just a second ancient ruins so it's there okay give me a sec let's just have a look there might be another collectible perhaps or all right let's go in see if there's anything here it has to be something you've got all of this here and there's no <laughs> There's nothing. That's very odd. Okay, fine. Whatever. Okay, just one more quick uh, check. I just want to have a look at what's up here. There's probably nothing as well, but you never know, guys. I like to be thorough. <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything, guys. Maybe here, perhaps? No, nothing. All right, fine. That's okay. I tried. <laughs> okay let's before we go into that let's um let's go across here what's this building oh check it out there's a data point thing flagging up what's this emissions joyride okay it's a, a text okay all right here we go emissions joyride frozen wilds uh, uh not that sorry i don't know why i'm reading that sorry uh to shelly guerrera mckenzie from laura vogel subject emissions joyride okay girl you are never going to guess what happened on my way home last night first thing i heard this sound like a herd of killer bees escaping out of a tin can then there was this weird light through the trees i was totally hoping it was aliens <laughs> but nah it was one of those old blue spectrum leds looks super creepy on the snow as it got closer, I heard some yahoo letting out this weird guttural man shriek <laughs> as if he were doing some macho uh, primal scream therapy. <laughs> you know, with a thousand RPMs between his legs. What the hell? 
<laughs> said yahoo was none other than dodd blevins oh that he, that guy's a dick anyway our new director of security or whatever his 20 dollar title is he was actually riding an old snowmobile they're like a thousand times more polluting than a combustion era car my expert professional opinion blevins is a grade a douche canoe <laughs> a douche canoe guys i've never heard that before that's pretty hilarious I decided not to sick the security bots on his flabby rear. <laughs> After all, he's practically our boss for the next two weeks. But Shells, you might want to take a bathroom break now because you're going to lose it when you find out what I did instead. I was standing right near one of those trail signs and I could tell Blevins was headed for me. So I reprogrammed the sign to swap directions between Fairy Falls and Purple Mountain. Wicked, right? You'd never get a snowmobile up there. I hope he bailed out hard and had to walk back to the lodge. <laughs> so he went, she basically sent him in the completely wrong direction. Guess I'll be filling my very first incident report right before this whole thing shuts down forever. I could let it slide like usual, but then where's the fun shells where is the fun l <laughs> that was great all right awesome <laughs> so let's have a look in this building if there's anything else no doesn't seem to be okay all right let's do a quick save Uh, nothing else here oh uh, guys look check there's some uh, climbing holes here all right what's on the map could it be they'll take me to that guys I'll look at it afterwards but at least I've spotted this at least I know this is here we'll, we'll check it out afterwards but let's get this done we're overdue <laughs> I'm supposed to be here like a while back but, you know, I had to test out a storm slinger. All right, cool. Okay, so. All right, let's go in. <laughs> oh, I think I know what this place is. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this looks like a dam. It, it could be. I don't know. It could be one. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the dip? Uh, guys, it, it's definitely a dam. Well, I'm 90% sure it's a dam, so. All right, let me, sorry, keep checking here because there could be some hidden rooms, but doesn't look like there is. Okay, let's keep going. What's that? All right, it's a bunker door. Actually, do I want to wear this outfit? Let me let me try something else. Give me a sec. Not this. Let's try. Let's put the shield weaver back on. Let's do that. It looks so badass. I was really salty because it didn't come with the helmet. You know that badass helmet. <laughs> oh, what's this? Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? All right. There's a data point there. There's those hollow um, light things or whatever. Uh, okay, let's check it out. Drainage system offline. This is a dam. It is. Intake tower malfunction. Drainage system offline. That's probably not good news. Looks like most of the facility is underwater. How did this happen? Hmm. All right, explore the control room. All right, what have we got? Oh, we got this. Right, secret show. Ah, it's okay. Like, how do we want to start this farewell thing? We might be the last actual people to ever see this place. Yeah. And see those zones. Okay. Uh, guys, I don't know about you. I couldn't really hear that very well. Um, the background uh, music, the game music is quite loud. Be the last actual people to ever see this place. Uh, yeah. 
Hence, you know, songs. <laughs> it looks like they had a bit of fun here. Okay. All right, dear nobody, as far as I can tell, that's who's going to read this. <laughs> Those spooky guys showed up today with that creep, Blevins, <laughs> him again, to take measurements of our workstations. And next week, they start installing Pharaoh servitors to do our jobs. Bye-bye, Shelley. Bye-bye, Laura. See you never. Hope you enjoy basic in income. So they're being replaced by machines or servitors or whatever. God, it's going to be weird to say goodbye to this place. When Quinton and I split, this was all I had. Thank God for a job where I could sit at a panel and press buttons and cry all day. Which I think is why we're doing this, hiding the tapes of our rehearsals in the dam. These tapes are our memories, our ghosts. Through them, we get to haunt this place, <laughs> keep it human in some small way. This control room was where I was sitting when Laura came in, dragging an old practice amp and a guitar behind her. Awesome. Shells, she said. Girl, I was so I, I was looking at schematics for this place and I found the perfect practice space. The acoustics in this place, seriously bonkers, like echoing through the entire valley kinds of bonkers. Legit, you're going to soil yourself when you see it. I remember asking practice space peace Shelley very interesting okay so we found that um I don't know what else Someone's been through here not that long ago either all right I'll go there in just a second what can we do here all right that's obviously locked so we got to find one of these another holographic interface there must be some kind of code. Piece is missing. Not getting in here with that. All right, fine. So we got to find it wherever it is. Uh, anything here? Oh shit! There's a dude there. And there's our troublemaker. Doesn't seem to be as good at getting out as he is at getting in. Okay, he looks like he's in prison himself. <laughs> so we got to free him, whoever he is. Now, there's a data point. But this room looks like it's packed with old stuff. Might be something useful. All right, can we... No, we can't interact with that. Okay, fine. That's fine. All right, so I think that's it. So let's go through here, I guess. Guys, I still can't believe how powerful that was. All right, so that's the dude. <laughs> yeah, I was just... Never mind. Scar's actually hilarious. Nah, it's not my probably good to the door. Or climb to the door. Or understand the function of the door. Alright, you're either here to rescue me or you're an uncharacteristically small and clever snap mall. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go in. It's actually funny this dialogue. Right. Imagine you entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go in. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. My forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. 
So I had to go with that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to flood. So he he caused this. Again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> Great. Obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. <laughs> okay. Artifact? You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from, from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face, seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses, it's in the storage room. Oh. Yes, I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. Um, is that a mirror? Is he looking for a mirror, perhaps? Right, ring? Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect. <laughs> my savior, my salvation. And if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours. And with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. <laughs> this guy's funny. All right, broken panel. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. Quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't going to be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. OK, there's no more dialogue. So all right, I'll help. So. We need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Hilden. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl! Two sets of hands! Behind <laughs> us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started then. I guess we better. You know what, guys? I like him. And it's good that we've got a very cheerful character <laughs> in Horizon. I haven't really met too many cheerful people. Alright, I'll probably die if I... If I go there... Sorry, what are we doing? <laughs> I wasn't actually listening. No, I was listening, but I was actually thinking about how to... Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind God, guys, and, uh, doing the honors? Let me just check what's here because he wants me to go on the other side. Do I? I get it. I'm sorry. I get it. Yeah, what I was trying to say earlier, um, I was listening to their dialogue, but I was also thinking about how to maximize. Um, the other valve is just across. Dude, I know. <laughs> Stop, please. All right, is there anything down here? Uh, don't think so. Okay, cool. No worries. Now what? Okay. You know, I'm reminded of a delve I undertook out near the claim. Stone ruin, cloud tall, lake fire. Must have been 13 levels on that monstrosity, but no walls. Just great stone columns bearing the weight of the level above filled out with row upon row of those enormous busted out old world carts you know the ones uh, with the four wheels 
I've scraped through a hundred of those carts. The only things I've ever seen inside are bird nests. I don't suppose that's what they were for, will you? Maybe the old ones were around families and birds. Sounds like a shopping trolley. Yeah, sorry guys, I don't want to cut off his dialogue uh, in case it was important. All right, so, um, oh, what's in here? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Great. All right, let's go up here then. Again, anything behind us? No. Okay, cool. All right, now what? Okay, let's drop down. So essentially, I guess we're going to be on the other side. Like he was saying, what's this? Okay, give me a sec. Again, let's check in here. There might be something, there might not be. Ugh, nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Whoa, whoa. Medicine, okay, we're good. Marvelous! You made it! Now grab that valve and give it a spin! On it. Lower emergency ladder. Do I want to do that now? Okay, obviously we can't go down there yet, so let's do this. A little more now and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving! There, you should be able to lower the gate. Right you are! Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. Uh, lock this thing in place! Alright. Oh, okay. Awesome. Okay. One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate! Right, that's what this ladder's for. Rare and special thing, girl. Can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go and no further. <laughs> I landed on his head. Okay, so what now? Oh, whoa! Uh, whoa, I thought I was going to fall through there. The valves for the second sluice gate are somewhere above us. How are we going to get up there? Let me look around, see what I can find. Right, okay, fine. Oh, guys, I spied something. This one. Okay, I was just going to say, I just spotted this. So there's a data point by the looks of it. Uh, what now? Do I actually jump on that? All right, let's try. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now what? Okay, I see. I think... Oh god! Nice jump! <laughs> nice! What am I saying? That was stupendous! Never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety! Thanks, I think. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, that was pure luck I landed here. I was actually aiming for here. <laughs> I reckon I would have fallen to my death if that was the case. What is this? Oh, okay, cool. Excellent. Let's grab that. All right, anything else? Not really. Okay, there should be a date point straight ahead. There's a ladder. Do I drop this? No, I don't. Okay. Damn family. Ready? One, two, three, four. Come on, sell out and run away, Cal. Oh, we see her. Okay. I forgot where it's here. Uh, guys, let's uh, listen to that again. I could barely hear it. Ready? One, two, three, four! Come sell out and run away, cowards! Oh, no. We see Cut it! Cut it! I forgot the words. Yeah. Shells, we started off so strong and then it all just imploded. Well, that's sort of my M.O. No, no. No heavy stuff. We're switching gears. Band name! We need one. <laughs> Okay, here's more text. Okay, dear nobody, when I took this job, 
we had to watch this training hollow and i remember probably two percent of the actual hollow at some point the hollow welcomed me to the damn family and i felt like a that was such a missed opportunity because they could have called it a damily <laughs> what and chose not to and b the idea that I would ever think of any of my co-workers as family was pretty ridiculous. But then one day, I looked up and Automation had whittled six people down to Jess, Laura and I, and I was signing papers to dissolve the family I thought I had. And suddenly, my last co-worker, with her faded tattoos and perpetually arched eyebrows, was telling me jokes and making me listen to bands I'd never heard of and cheering me up when I cried. Oh, that's nice. Things were really good when it was just the two of us. We used to have these theme days. One time, the sluice gates were open and we set up bench, uh, sorry, beach blankets on one of the catwalks in the intake tower and battered around this inflatable beach ball I had in my apartment for some reason. Laura messed around with the emergency PA and patched in a bunch of classical surf rock songs. We even put sunscreen on the bridges of our nose, noses. Uh, Laura called it the concrete beach party. <laughs> when Laura brought up band names, I knew pretty much right away that that would be our name concrete beach party there was never really any other choice <laughs> all right awesome oh guys i'm oh, sorry these little <laughs> these holes really make me nervous now what do i do oh i go up here okay cool all right so what oh, now you're close girl just spring across the gap Oh, gosh, I don't know. Am I going to make that? Ah! Okay, here we go. You're right above me. Just send that ladder on down. Oh, he's down below. Okay, fine, fine. Look out below. Now, we've done this once before. Should be as easy as falling down a hole. If you take the valve on the other side. I'm going to set up the same way on this side. I should look for an access to Sorry guys, just want to check, is there anything down here? No, this is where, it's okay, ignore me. This is where we actually came. So let's go up here then. All right, so we need to go on that side, fine. This, this is my sort of delta. A thousand little problems to solve. A million minute and invisible factors. My father used to say to me, uh, Gildling, he called me Gildling. Gildling, he used to say, don't make the delve harder than it needs to be. The best delves are done, and half the time it takes a campfire to sputter out. Now, my father was a great man, but dead wrong when it came to choosing a rubric by which to judge delve quality. To find yourself stuck, then unstuck. To fail, then to succeed. To get lost, find yourself. That's what makes a delve. Uh-huh, Gildan. <laughs> Again, I do want to cut off his dialogue. If I went any further, I don't think we would have heard him. Um, I just... Sorry, because I'm half asleep. Guys, it's really early in the morning for me. Forgive me, but... I swear he's Osoram, isn't he? <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's keep going up. Um, I'm just looking behind. Is there anything there? No, there is not. Okay. All right, there's that. Okay, nothing there. I wonder if I jump, will I? No, I thought it might be <laughs> a secret we can go into, but no, not so much. All right, now what? Okay, we go down, obviously. However, before I do that, what's this? Again, nothing at all. All right, so let's go down here. water <laughs> all right again sorry guys keep doing this but i just need to check you never know there might be something in there but there isn't all right aloy 
Okay, now what? Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. Where is he? It's not working. Oh, I have to go. Oh. Too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and uh, broken? Okay, glance behind him. Looks Look like for the counterweight. Counter I can get up there. My oh, it's this. To get it moving again. All right, fine. Hang on. Okay, I've got a plan. Okay, I get it. So that's the counterweight. Right, this takes us there. Okay, I can't do anything there. We have to do the... To get up higher. Climb up that wreckage. That's pretty much what I do. How, though? Oh, I see. Okay, just give me a minute, guys. Give me a moment. Just checking. Is there anything here? Not really. Okay, let's go up here, then. Oh, I don't know, man. Oh, a <laughs> few. <laughs> that looked kind of dodgy. Well, we're good. Okay, now what, though? Where am I going? Can't jump straight to the cannon from here. So? Well, I could climb higher, but I got it. Right, okay, I see. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, keep going, keep going. Right, rappel down, and I'm gonna end up on the counterweight, I guess. But just before I do anything, any secrets, any hidden items? Nah, doesn't look like it. Uh, guys, if I have missed anything, please let me know. Oh, I get it now. Okay, cool. Do I jump off now? Oh no, I'm scared. <laughs> what do I do? You can make it. <laughs> Just going. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're back. Okay, we're back here. It's fine. Got it. We're good to go. And you were sight to see. Bounding from metal rust trap to metal rust trap. Still a bit of water, but warm enough, wouldn't you say? Now then, uh, where's that friend? Good question. Well, at least I should be able to swim now. Snap Whoa, whoa. Snap Very, very big. I see it, Gildan. Very big, very, very big. Just stay out of the way. <laughs> Guys, this thing is so good. Oh, I'm so happy we got this bow. He's going to be dead very soon. Oh, no, no, don't, no. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Arsehole. Come on, come on. Guys, 1,200, are you kidding me? Well, he's dead, whatever. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> Where are you? All right, just give me a minute, guys. Okay, we've done this. This is all done. Yeah, there's no reason for me to be. I'm just looking for any data points, etc. He's all the way there? What? Okay. All right. Okay, we we were there already, the upstairs part. So let's go here. Let's go this way. All right, give me a moment. All right, no, there's no collectibles or anything, data points, etc., etc. All right, here we go. Ladder. All right, now what? Okay, down here. Huh. 
<laughs> all right check it out guys this weapon uh, this bow is sick and i'm sad because i really really want the hunter's bow equivalent right emitter we got all it right this thing did swallow the ring ah, that's the old gilded intuition in action never let me astray sure it's chosen routes can be a bit circuitous but never mind to the data point room. to the spoils all right sorry give me a second <laughs> what's in here more old world treasure perhaps this place is full of surprises do they have a look shells. shells we're not focusing on that right now recording okay we're not even in the man meeting sort of county practice right uh merch we need merch stickers you're not a real band until someone vandalizes government property with the sticker Collins, I have been asked to remind you that conversations determined to be irrelevant to servitor training are discouraged. What were you saying about vandalizing government property? <laughs> Sorry, um, Gildan was talking over someone I've died. Well, anyway, let me play this again. Again, I can't hear on my headphones, guys, so... Okay, Shells. Shells, we're not focusing on that right now. Recording, okay? We're not even in the band meeting. It sort of counts as practice, right? Uh, merch. We need merch. Stickers! You're not a real band until someone vandalizes government property with your sticker. Colleagues, I have been asked to remind you that conversations determined to be irrelevant to servitor training are discouraged. What were you saying about vandalizing government property? Guys, that's awful, man. So they can't have fun, basically. They're always watched. <laughs> anyway. All right. Dear nobody. We spent an hour plastering our stickers all over that servitor. <laughs> Good for them. Well, I say stickers. They were sticky notes from my desk. We stole the presentation and design of other band logos, drawing little skulls and lightning bolts and broken hearts around the name. It's not like we had any actual work to do. When this began, we were told we'd be on-site on -site advisors, going through the motions of our duties so the servitors could mimic our actions. But the government creeps, corporate creeps, same diff, I guess, mostly ignore us or yell at us for getting in their way. The robo-scabs' <laughs> weird oval head <laughs> kept swiveling towards us, and it kept asking, Hello, is this relevant to my training? As we try to duck out its line of sight, ruining its chrome finish with sticky notes and shushing each other's giggles. Afterward, Laura stood in front of the thing and goes, Servitor, this is very important. This is how you greet Blevins, okay? <laughs> it's a sign of immense respect. I mean, will the servitor actually give Blevins the finger? <laughs> Probably not, right? But a girl can dream. Screw that man. Or screw the man. Shelly. That's awesome. I hope we find out. <laughs> Alright. I think that's it. So let's keep going. Alright. Well, there is this here. Do I care about this? Okay, it's telling me to go there, but why? What's this? We drained enough water for what we need to do, but I wonder if I could empty out the whole dam. All right. Let's have a look. Let's see what this is. All right, is there any... I can see a data point there. Maybe I can drain the rest of the water from here. Sure are a lot of valves. Should check my focus first. Okay, give me a sec, Aloy. Anything my focus could reveal. All right, here we go. Okay, valves 101. Okay, this is text. Yo, Shelly, I'm trapped in servitor hell over here. Got in this morning, and as usual, that one half-baked chrome dolt was bumping up against the locked entry door in the reservoir room, moaning about requiring entry into the totality of the facility between its robot voice and those weird grindy sounds it its limbs make the acoustics reminded of a track from one of the less accessible german post-punk bands i've told them and told them every night 
the pipe network decouples so that the reservoir can refill and every morning it has to be reset manually. All you have to do is turn the valve thingies so that the water flows directly to the pump. The rest of the servitors seem to get it, but this guy won't stop bugging out. I mean, I know we're supposed to be on-site advisors, but this is getting ridiculous. Do I have to scratch the instructions into their stupid, shiny faces? <laughs> All right, guys, so... All right, time to get the flow going to the right place. Oh! I say this as a man typically enamored of complexities, but... This looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry. I think I've got this. Okay. Stick to my ears. To each job, it's proper tool. Toothpicks make... Guys, guys, sorry. I can't just keep waiting for their dialogue to finish. <laughs> okay, literally, it's the same puzzle as those hollow puzzles we were doing when we met Aurea. So that's all. Anyway, I'll let him continue. Horrible arrows, as the saying goes. Okay. So the flow of water goes here. So what does it want me to do again? Okay, there's red, a lot of red ones. All right, where does it go? Uh, it goes here. Okay, I get it. So it needs to ultimately go here. There's a broken pipe here. So we can't do anything there, which is fine. So, okay, how do I start? You got a competent mind, girl. A mind for nuance and finesse. Not I. No, indeed. Not old Gildan. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'm not actually sure. Okay, so... Alright, obviously not there. That's not going to work. Oh, crap. This <laughs> is actually a little bit, little bit complex. Um, okay, there's a red pipe here. Oh man, this looks this looks like it's gonna be one of those ones. It might take me a few minutes. Demands a certain degree of Gildan, I like you. You're cool. But dude, you need to shut up. <laughs> okay, so maybe here, maybe? I don't know. Something's not right. Ah shit. Okay, no. Um wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Okay, fine. Okay, uh, guys, I'll be honest, I'm just guessing. Come on, come on! Alright, obviously not there. Not this a while, girl. No room to judge, man. I won't spend half a day flummoxed by a Karja puzzle box. <laughs> no, 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 this one, this one. This way. Oh god, I don't know, guys. <laughs> no idea. Okay, I wanted to go in here. Please. Yes. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, let me just let me just pause. Sorry, I'm not gonna lie. That was pure YOLO. I was just guessing. <laughs> I didn't know. Eventually, it will actually go there. The doors open. Okay, we got the first supply box. Uh, yeah, when Gildan was talking, I was kind of like, dude, can he shut up, please? I'm trying to concentrate. But anyway, anything else? No. Any data points? Not really. Um, should we go back where we came? But what's this? I don't understand. What's the difference? Okay. Oh, okay. Do I want to go here? <laughs> Am I supposed to be here? All right. So what now? Do I go here? Guys, he scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh. You smell that? It smells like a Ford side morning in a claim. <gasps> What's that? Looks like. Okay. I don't care about anything else right now, but this looks really important. Maybe? Right, what? Whoa, guys! 51% freeze, 35 shock, 35 corruption. Guys, that's huge! Are you kidding me? I could even put two 
hang on, wait, can I do that two handling? So I'm thinking about the war bow. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, we'll leave it for now. I should head back up to Gildan. Right, compens uh, compensatory damages. See? Check this out! We could just bang on this pipe, you know? And... Could we sample that or? Oh, totally! Like, what about after the. Oh, sorry. Just a sec. Laura? I, uh. I need to take a break. Laura? Oh no, what happened? Uh, I can hear this okay, but um, for you guys, look, I'll just play it anyway. See? Check this out! We could just bang on this pipe, you know? And... Could we sample that or? Oh, totally! Like, what about after the. Oh, sorry. Just a sec. Laura? I, uh. Okay, so I'll stop it there because we can hear that more or less dear nobody i feel embarrassed now thinking about following laura out of the pump station like a kicked puppy wondering what horrible thing i might have done until she threw herself into this room and shut the door behind her and just screamed oh gosh okay the fear of abandonment is weirdly self-censored because it presupposes that little old you are filled with with such immense destructive power that you're capable of driving every person you care about away. Anyway, at the bottom of the dam, with her on one side of the door and me on the other, she told me that Metallurgic had bought her mum's house, her whole neighbourhood, in fact, out from under her to build a new server farm. That's awful, man. Oh, God, I don't even like that house, she said. I don't even like Indianapolis. I hated every minute I spent in that city as a kid. When they told us we'd have to leave the dam, I went back to my apartment and I sat on my bed and I prayed to a god I don't even believe in that I wouldn't have to move back home, that I wouldn't have to show up on my mum's front stoop with a suitcase and a bunch of stupid excuses. She was trying not to sound like she was crying, but she sounded like she was crying. I guess I got my stupid wish, huh? I asked her where she'd go and she laughed. Where else could she go? Back home to help her mum pack up the house, to move with her into whatever dank little one-room hole Metallurgic's displacement grant will allow them to afford. I think I could have dealt with being one of those losers who celebrate their 40th birthday living in the house they grew up in, but now? Now I don't even have that. I had no idea how to make her feel better. So I just sat on the other side of the door and I started singing the song we were working on. The one, uh, the one about being the last two girls on earth. And eventually she started singing along. Love, Shelley. Oh, Damn, that's... Uh, that sucks. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So let's go here. Where are we, guys? <laughs> what is this? Wait, if I'm right, is this where we killed a snap more? No, it's not. This is a different area altogether. Oh, I get it, guys. Guys, I know where we are. I know where we are. Okay, if we go here... Uh, Aloy, run, please. Sorry, let me just check. Audio, anything? No. All right, let's go up here real quick. The snap more should so, be up here. As we circle back around to the matter of the supply room. Okay, so it wanted me to go through that way. Oh crap, how do I get back down? Wait, <laughs> sorry, God. One second. Okay, so let's go to this ladder. There could be another what? area, perhaps. Look at that! Ha! You've drained this place completely! Could be that this old ruin is hiding a few more secrets down below. Of course, that storage room still awaits our perusal. Okay, no, ignore me, though. That's fine. <laughs> I thought this was a new room. It's not. I've already been here. That's where... Where are we, actually? <laughs> Guys, you know what? I'm going to confuse myself. I'll come back here at a later time. I'll investigate further. But, um... 
Yeah, I'm just confused being here. <laughs> All right, now what? Okay. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Do you know what? He's actually awesome. I like oh, this guy. There. Like I was saying, it's a refreshing to have somebody quite cheerful in. I'll hold the looking glass in my hand. Just like Mama does. It's just a mirror, dude. <laughs> but I guess, you know, two people now. And this time, it'll be very exciting. So, <laughs> I get it. All right, now what? Is it upwards? And is there anything down here? Okay, replace the emitter. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. All right, good. Here we go. The lock positions. Helpful. Okay, left, up, down, up, right. Left. Uh... What, um, what are you doing with your hands there, girl? What? Oh, I get it. Guys, sorry. I, sorry, sorry. I, I get it. Okay, you know, by wearing the focus, we can see holographic lights. I didn't consider to other people who don't have focuses, they don't understand what's going on. So we're manipulating stuff in midair. And they think we're crazy, I guess. <laughs> That's what I think it is, anyway. Okay, this one is right, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, crap. Nope. I didn't want to do that. I tried to roll. Right, let's look at this again. Okay. Left, up, down, up. Oh, okay. Shit. <laughs> right. Okay, I think we can go in now. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. <laughs> See, I told you guys. All right, how so? Okay, let's, I don't know, start here, I guess. And there is a data point there, I did see it. But give me a moment. Where did it go? Okay, I'll speak to him in a minute, guys. Sorry. Give me a second. Don't want to miss anything. Okay. Let's fix the panel and shut this place down. Okay, I know there's a data point there. Just give me a minute. Anything else here? All right, what's this? Okay, farewell tour. Imagine such things. Not oh, guys. Roll. Okay. Farewell tour. Reunion tour in like six months. They have to do it all the time. <laughs> For our adoring fans. It's not that hard to stay in touch, Shelly. We can practice in hollow space. All right. Obviously, we're going to listen to that again because Gildan decided I'm going to speak over the dialogue. <laughs> okay. All right, dear nobody, we got into a we got in a fight, Laura and I. After practice, we went out for drinks. There's this row bar in downtown Cody, so we called an auto car and shuttled over. We were the only people there. With the park closing, Cody's becoming a ghost town. What is going on, guys? I keep uh, anyway. I'll, I'll explain afterwards. The more we drank, the more passive aggressive our banter became snowballing out of our control Me metastasizing 
<laughs> what I, i'd never heard of a word like that in the empty air between us and then before either of us really knew what was happening we were yelling at each other i kept thinking like i'm not abandoning her she's abandoning me and i guess she was probably thinking something similar we got quiet for a while drank more eventually laura ordered an auto car and we piled into it slid as far from each other on the back seat as we could arms crossed staring out the window and then i heard myself talking screw it i don't care if you stay in touch with me i'm going to stay in touch with you whether you like it or not you're not getting rid of me ever ah laura looked at me for what felt like ages i thought she was going to start yelling but then her hand crept over mine and we just sat there together bottoms up shelly oh man yeah sorry what i was trying to say was um look obviously i don't know the full story what is it about this area people seem to be i don't know um has it got something to do with that firebreak project it seems to me that people have been moved without their uh permission to another place you know forcibly removed so something really serious is going on but it's got nothing to do with the pharaoh plague anyway just my thoughts just wondering all right what do i do now I've got to talk to gildan okay you okay buddy gildan everything okay i was so sure i saw it the looking glass i was so sure right there in the window i was of course Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, no. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. <laughs> And what a delve it was! Ugh. By the great <laughs> blazing forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I uh, believe we have some repairs to make. Positive attitude. I like it. I like this guy. He's he's so cool. <laughs> right, replace the power cell. I hope I haven't missed anything there. But if I did, guys, let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, we've already looked at that. Okay, I think we just repair this now and see what happens. <laughs> you do it. Oh, that's a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> okay, it worked, right? What does it mean? <laughs> it means it worked. By the forge. Ha! You what are the a wonder? Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that <laughs> once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. Ha! It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? <sighs> Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. We did it. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. We all take a look. Another adventure so soon? Whew. You're braver than me. Oh, there was no question of that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, he's awesome. Really positive guy. Okay, um, did I miss anything here? Was there like a tunnel I had to go through? Maybe I'm imagining things, guys, but let me just check. No, there's nothing else here. All right, I'm going to go up. If I have missed any data points or whatever, or hidden rooms, please let me know. I'm pretty sure I covered everything that I could see, but I don't know. 
Right, what is the overflow basin? Oh, whoa! No, please! Oh, God, no! <laughs> Guys. <laughs> All right, thank God my shield protected me there. If I wasn't wearing this, we'd be dead. <laughs> wow. Okay. Anyway, that's definitely woken me up. Right, exit the gray hatch. Fine. <laughs> uh, guys, I promise I was pressing square, you know, so you can climb Water's off the ledge. And going by that sound, I think Laula is already at the din. Where? All right, fine. Okay, let's get a mount. What are you doing over there, buddy? <laughs> All right, anyway, so. Uh, do I cross? Wait, give me a sec. Oh, I get it. This is, we're going back to where those snap malls were, I think. The hell is that noise? Right, there's a merchant here, which is great. Um, guys, is that is that what she calls music? <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm being an arsehole. I, I'm sure it's good. Maybe I, I just haven't gotten used to it. Oh, I get it now. All of this is cleared. There might be some... I don't know, data points below. I don't know, guys. All right, so what are we doing? All right, okay, cool. Well, hey, it's a good thing we took care of these snap balls, I guess. All right, now what? All right, we go down here, apparently. What's that noise? Guys, I can hear something. Not obviously, apart from the drums, <laughs> if that's what we even call this. Okay, give me a second. Is there anything else? No, nothing. Uh, there's a data point, guys. Oh, crap. <laughs> Shit. Can I use my focus? Yeah, I can. All right, final performance. Live from the illustrious Overflow Basin Studios, it's Concrete Beach Party! A one, a two, a one, two, three, four!
<laughs> Gosh, that was awesome, man. Oh, is there nothing to read? Okay, it would have come up um, if there was. That was awesome. And you know what's scary? They could have been the last girls on Earth. Like, quite literally, you know? Guys, that, that was um, an awesome quest, actually. I really enjoyed this. Now, what the hell is this banging? This is music, right? This lady wants to do. Or am I just being an arsehole? Oh, another data point. Look. Okay, last girls on Earth. Okay, here we go. Dear nobody, the auto cars are on their way. Mine will take me to my apartment in Cody. Hers will take her to the Vertiport. She brought her luggage with her to work today. Everything she owns packed into two little suitcases. She's wearing the fanciest outfit I've ever seen her in. It's for mom, she said. She bought me this outfit, if you can believe it. Normally, like, who cares, but I don't know. She's already dealing with a lot. We walked through the dam today, listened to all these tapes, and read all these messages. And maybe this is one of those sign my yearbook, we'll never lose touch things. But I'm not scared of losing Laura anymore. We're family. We didn't inherit each other or settle on each other. We chose each other. No amount of distance, no number of jerks in bad suits or obsequious robots are going to tear us apart. So listen, on the off chance that someone ever actually does stumble onto these things, here's the truth. There was this band called Concrete Beach Party and for a second, it was the best band in the world. And you, whoever you are, are really, really lucky because you're the only person who ever got to hear them. That, guys, that's sad. <laughs> that is sad. See you never, the last girls on earth. Oh my god, that's so sad. Oh my god, what? <laughs> I, I know I sound like an old man, but turn that racket down. <laughs> What the fuck is she doing, guys? <laughs> I thought this is supposed to be like a rhythm or something, but she's just randomly banging. Not, not in that way. You, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, I can hear the reverberations. Guys, let me just talk to her. I want to close this off. Is there anything else, though, just before I leave? No, nothing. Okay. All right, shut up now. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? <laughs> That's because there's no other place with such resonance, <laughs> such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes as I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters, not just for myself but for my ancestors and their songs. Please, take this. Okay. As a token of our gratitude. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> when she said, so what did you think of the music? <laughs> well, um... It's definitely enough for me, dog. <laughs> if that's what you call music, but anyway, I don't want to be an arsehole. Uh, no, no, it's good. It's, uh... Anyway, guys, uh, wait, what did I get? Sorry, what did I actually get, though? Is there a mod, or did I get something else? Give me a sec. Okay, normally has an exclamation. No, it's not. Is it a treasure box? Is it this? Right, a spear modification box. I is this it? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> okay, fine. When I edit, I'll read carefully what exactly it is we got. All right, guys, look, um, we'll leave it here then. I hope you enjoyed all that. So I've got to suffer through all this um, quote-unquote music uh, for a little longer. But uh, we'll see you in the next episode. I may be in... Um, let me come out of this. Oh, gosh. This, oh, look, there's a pigment here I can get. There's all some blue gleam. We'll catch all that in the next episode, I guess. But I may decide, actually, might as well do Olin's quest... Uh, maybe a metal flower 
and again yet again we need to open this i keep forgetting guys we need to open that area we'll see how it goes i'm just tackling it as it as and when it comes but listen i hope you guys enjoyed yourselves if you did please leave the video a like i'd really appreciate it please subscribe if you're brand new you know and turn the bell notification on etc etc but um i'll see you guys in the next video take care